rendering the human face continues to be an area of critical attention in computer graphics. In both games and film, so much of the story can be told through subtle human expression. But it's the very subtlety of these expressions that brings the challenge of simulating it in real-time graphics. Today we'd like to share with you Digital IRA. IRA represents the next step forward in two important areas. Human skin rendering using NVIDIA's FaceWorks technology and performance capture using LightStage technology developed under Dr. Paul Debevic at the Institute for Creative Technology at USC. Let's start with the skin rendering. A lot of research has gone into understanding how light interacts with skin. Since skin is partially transparent, light not only reflects off of it, but it is also transmitted through the layers of skin below the surface. This subsurface scattering of light has to be properly simulated for the skin to look real. Here we can modify iris skin by adjusting how much light we allow to transmit through the skin. Without it, he looks dried, crusty, and almost dead looking. But with a little light transmission, it brings him back to life. Here we see, on his ear, just how transparent the human skin can be as light passes through the skin and we can actually see the more opaque veins in Ira's ear. Keeping the curves of the face smooth and continuous is also critical to making Ira look real. We employ adaptive tessellation to the underlying geometry of Ira's face. This keeps the density of the triangles greatest where they'll do the most good. As we zoom closer to its forehead, you'll see the density of the mesh increasing as it approaches the camera. Also note the triangle density along the silhouette of his nose and how as he turns to face the camera, the density actually reduces as his nose moves out of profile and we no longer require that density. This optimizes geometric performance, putting the triangles where you need them. The adaptive tessellation works so well that the transition of all this triangle density is almost unperceivable, yet it's changing significantly. Ira's eyes are also using a complex ray tracing shader to render them. As we take a close look, you can see the refraction of light as it passes through the cornea. This keeps the iris of the eye from flattening out at glancing angles. Also note the sharp reflection of the environment off the cornea of his eye, but the more diffused reflection off the bumpier white portion. All of these are subtle details, but critical to our perception of a lifelike human. All these great strides in rendering are lost, however, if the character's motion is not also lifelike. The light stage technology allows an actor's performance to be captured in real time, processed to extract out the 3D geometry of facial movement, and extract the skin detail in the form of textures that represent skin color, bump, and specularity. We've been watching Ira's expression as this demo has been running, but let's zoom in on some of the details. Here we can see the nearly microscopic detail in the skin texture that's captured by the light stage. You can see the individual pores in the skin and the stubble along Ira's cheek and neck. Now as we move to the eyes, we can see the development of crow's feet when he smiles. Again, it's these subtle details that make Ira believable. And one final detail. Note the complexity of motion of Ira's mouth as he sucks on his upper lip. Attempting something like this through manual animation would be incredibly challenging. But since the light stage captures an actor's live performance, we can bring all the nuance of the motion of his lips in exactly the way he performed it. One of the challenges of having this much detail in the skin texture is that the amount of storage required is on the order of several gigabytes. That's much more than will fit in local video memory for real-time applications. To reduce the amount of texture required, we analyze how much the textures change in these different regions of Iris' face. We only store and update textures for the regions that change considerably with different expressions. This optimization reduces the amount of texture down to a very manageable 300 megabytes. Finally, we bring all this rendering technology, motion technology, and data management together to bring Ira to life. I ordered a yogurt parfait and the whole parfait was fruit, frozen fruit. There is no yogurt. It's supposed to be half fruit and half yogurt, but the whole thing is frozen fruit. Thanks, Ira, for sharing the state of the art in real-time rendering of human expression. Take my money!